Hey, what is up guys? Natasha here and welcome to Techni First Impressions, Unboxings and Hands-On. Today we have the most interesting phone. See how tiny this phone looks in my hand. Well, there's a little story behind that. Yesterday we saw Anwar Ibrahim, our Deputy Prime Minister. He was actually on one of his conferences and he was holding a very, very tiny phone. And he mentioned he liked old school phones better than newer ones because of battery. Now, we're gonna see that we can find a smartphone that can rival that and look what dropped on our laps. This is the Unihertz Atom, which is the world's smallest 4G rugged smartphone. Yes, by rugged, I mean you can throw this into someone's face. And apparently, they'll be really, really hurt. Without further ado, let's unbox this phone, shall we? Alright, just first up, we can already see up here that there's the SIM pin. And in here, you have a lot of paperwork. And now, we have a phone. So in this plastic casing here, this is how the phone looks like. It's actually rugged. First impressions show Corning Gorilla glass up front. You have the fingerprint reader here, which doubles as the home button. Selfie camera, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and USB type C. The, and the most interesting part about this phone is the whole phone is actually covered with rubber as well as a USB-C cable. And that is all that is in the box. All right, let's talk tech specs. So this device comes with four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, an octa-core 2 gigahertz chipset, 2.45 inch TFT display. Of course, it has touch screen over here. For security, it does come with a face recognition as well as your fingerprint reader right over here. Also, battery-wise, it comes with 2,000 milliamp battery, which I think is more than sufficient for a small kind of phone like this. Also, this phone comes with a single rear camera setup over here on the back we can see a 16 megapixel camera with LED flash and the front is an 8 megapixel camera and they actually do pretty well now we've come to the moment that you've been waiting for what we like and what we don't like about the phone first of all I start with the like and I'm gonna just tell you I absolutely love how waterproof and shockproof this phone is when they say that this phone is the world's first 4g rugged phone I thought they were exaggerating you know it just covered just looks rugged but it actually is so Leroy had actually tried to test out the shockproof and waterproof he actually threw this phone up and down around this room and it didn't break and he also threw it in the swimming pool you can have a look right over here how that worked out Number two, I love how compact this phone is. So if you're the kind of person who just needs to unwind on the weekend, you definitely want to take this. And the best part is if you like going outside, hike, swimming and all that, that in between, you can bring this along with you because it does pretty well. It's small and you don't have to be like, you know, holding a very fragile phone when you're doing something outdoorsy. And I definitely do not want to break my phone because that, fixing that is very, very expensive. Also, another pro, this is is a fully powered Android device. To be specific, it runs the Android 8.1 Oreo. And you know, for phones as small as this, you wouldn't have thought this would be running a full Android, but it does. So that is definitely a plus. Another plus is I did get curious and tried out PUBG on this phone. It actually plays PUBG pretty well. A little bit laggy, but it worked. Kind of still surprised at that. All right, let's go on to what I didn't like about this phone. Number one. So because this phone is so tiny and it comes with full 8.1 Oreo OS, one problem, it comes with a full mapped out keyboard and typing on this is a nightmare. Even with the Google swipe, it doesn't make it better. So if you have this phone, you definitely don't want to type on it. Try calling more or sending voice messages because you're going to get very very angry number two I think I didn't like about it is the battery life so this phone regardless of its size I thought a 2000 milliamp battery would last it maybe like a week or something that's why I've been trying to look for these kind of phones they last a long time unfortunately for this phone a full day usage only lasts you for one day like any other phone the last thing I didn't like about it is the camera unfortunately I understand that it's a small phone and you know there's a lot of things that's gonna be a trade-off when you have something compact but unfortunately the camera is not even on par with 
recent cameras. It's just not good. It reminds me of phones back in the day. So if you want to take photos with this, I don't recommend it. But if you want to take underwater shots like what Leroy did, check it out here. Feel free because, you know, this is not going to break underwater. And that is all that we liked and disliked about the Unihertz Atom. Honestly, this is a pretty good phone and quite cheap as well at 1073 ringgit. You can get it on Amazon, AliExpress, and I think you can get it on eBay as well. Just check out the website if you want to know more. And for more tech news, videos, unboxings, and beyond, make sure you stay tuned to TechNews.com. I'm Natasha, and I'm going to throw this phone some more to see how long it can last. Ciao!